Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. We have some very exciting news and we have been waiting to tell you guys this for such a yeah. long time. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it is that time of year where we have got a trip announcement. Um, yeah, we've had this book for so long and yeah. we haven't been able to tell anybody about it. So, so relieved <laughs> to finally be getting it off our chest. We are going to... Well, well, Disney, Disney World. World! We have been a few times before as you know and if you have watched our vlogs from our December trip thank you so much. That was the first time we've ever vlogged Disney World even though we've been quite a few times before and um, we've had some amazing feedback so thank you so much for that. Um, we are of course going to be vlogging our next trip because we definitely want to show you guys more of what we get up to at Disney World and um, and yeah we've we've got some exciting stuff planned haven't yeah, we? Yeah um, we're actually we're staying in a different resort we than we are. normally do. We, you know that we love those value resorts. We love them. We've stayed at All Star Movies, we've stayed at All Star Sports twice, we've stayed at Art of Animation, um, but this time we are um, staying in a moderate resort and we're staying at Coronado, uh, Coronado Springs Resort, um, which, uh, so that's a bit, it looks amazing for us. It does. Yeah. It, so, yeah. so basically what happened this time is we booked far enough in advance that we um, could book when the free Disney dining yeah. offer was on. Um, so that really influenced our decision really on this. We love those value resorts. We've never had the dining plan ever. No. Um, we've always just paid out of pocket for everything. Um, but this time we thought, well, we're ready to book and the free dining offer is on. And you just got that little bit more... Um, included if you stayed in a moderate resort. Yeah. Obviously we'll pay more money than yeah. we would in a value resort but we were, did the numbers, you always have to do the numbers yeah. and we decided it worked out for us and we're, we're giving the dining plan a go. Yeah so included we have got the quick service dining plan um, you could upgrade if you wanted to pay more but um, we generally only do kind of a couple of table service things every trip um, that we're going to pay out of pocket for yeah. so we, we're happy with the dining that we've um, been given um, and yeah so we get two quick service meals uh, two snacks uh, a refillable drink smug for um, our resort so um, yeah. yeah so it sounds like a good deal yeah so uh, it's probably more food than we're gonna eat yeah um, but we we worked it out and we weren't paying really extra I know some people say oh you know when they bring out free dining they put the prices up and we didn't really find that to be the case with the dates that we booked no. um so realistically for us it kind of is free although we are staying in a moderate but we're going to get the benefits of staying in that moderate and we're yeah. going to sort of have that little bit of extra luxury yeah. I guess yeah. so that's going to be something new yeah. um so yeah we decided it worked for us didn't yeah we? and we we chose Coronado um, Springs because of the location really yes. um it's it is fairly close to all star spots we're yeah. not we're not going too far, far away. yeah we're kind of still in the same area um but yeah so we will report back and tell you all about yeah. Coronado well, Springs we're taking you with us anyway. <laughs> we're gonna show you everything. We're gonna yeah. make sure we do a full resort tour, room tour, find out as much information as we can about Coronado Springs as possible. Yeah. And we've already been keeping our eye out on everyone's vlogs, so thank you to all the vloggers who have been doing sort of construction updates and things like that. We have been following along mm -hmm. and um yeah, we're really excited to be staying yeah. there. Somewhere a little bit different. Yeah. Um now to get the free dining, we did buy our tickets at the same time, which we generally do anyway if we're booking a hotel tell and we actually booked through um, uh, disneyholidays.co.uk yeah. um, which we've done lots of times before um, because nine times out of ten we do find it cheaper to book our um, hotel and park passes uh, separately to our flights that's just kind of how we've yeah but we kind of work out do your numbers and work out what the best way is for for your dates but yeah we kind of booked the um, so we've got the 14 day pass um, which was included, uh, we got the dining included yeah. and also a uh, free memory maker as well so we got all our photographs and also um, we've got a $200 gift card as well which yeah. is quite nice. Like we needed any more incentive. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. we'll be finding something to 
to spend. That'll probably be like all of our merch haul. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but but yeah, really really happy with that. Also, one thing that we might do again is um, opt out of mousekeeping. Um, we did do that on our last trip, and we got another gift card for that as well. It was I think ten dollars back per night. Yeah. So with the two hundred one, and then the one we're gonna get for that, that also sort of, uh, that's pretty much our spending money covered really so yeah thank you for that yeah um now speaking of flights mm. we haven't actually booked our flights yet so i can't tell you who we're going with but um we fly out um generally from manchester so um we've kind of got two options for direct flights which is uh, virgin and thomas cook now we have flown with both those before our choice would be virgin but the prices at the moment are i think crazy yeah which is why we haven't booked anything yeah. yet like because we didn't book it straight away which everyone's advice is the minute they get released 11 months in advance make sure you book it um we didn't book it no and we've just basically been slowly watching the price rise and then drop and then yeah. rise and yeah so at the moment the flight prices are all over the place we are checking daily to see what the flight prices are and it's just like one day you look and it's like this much and the next day and it's completely different and we just can't keep track of it really so they are a little bit expensive right now we are still holding out hope that they are going to come down in price a little bit yeah. and we talked about maybe going to london and flying from london and try and save money that way but then we have all the extra expense of getting to london and staying over somewhere and and the extra time and things yeah. as well and um, we've toyed around with being a bit flexible on our dates to try and get a a be better price um but generally we are playing the flight lottery right now yeah so please all <laughs> pray for us have your fingers crossed for us that we're gonna find a relatively reasonable flight so we actually make it yeah there. <laughs> <laughs> um saying that though we are definitely going yeah so whatever the f the you know probably in the next week we are gonna book our flights and pay whatever it costs whatever it is yeah yeah um we like we said, we've got some exciting things planned, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. Um, we have managed to book a few things in advance. Um, and we've booked a couple of the same things again. Like, we love Ohana breakfast. Like, the, the breakfast with Mickey and Leo and Stitch and Pluto. Um, so, we have booked that again, haven't we? Which yeah. we will pay out of pocket for. Um, potentially use one of our gift vouchers yeah. for for that. Um, but we've booked a few other things, haven't we? Yeah, some first-time things. Because we, we do have our favourites. Um, but yeah, we've got some first time things as well. We're actually going to um, Hoop Diddy Review. Um, and this was kind of inspired really by watching other people's vlogs. So um, yeah, we we liked the look of it. A couple of um, vlogs that we saw, it just, it just looked really great. Yeah. The food looks good, the show, and it kind of looks like something that's right up our street. So, yeah. uh, and I can't believe we have never done it really. No. <laughs> so we're taking an opportunity, we are going, we have made a reservation. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it is a, a pay out of pocket thing yeah. for us. Um, yeah. but and it's already paid for. Yeah. You do have to pay for it up front when you book the reservation. So. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's all booked and paid for. Um, obviously we'll we'll take you guys with us and you can check it out for yourselves. Um, but yeah, we're super excited for that yeah. one, aren't we? Um, we have also booked um, pretty much kind of because of our like last year's. Um, experience at Christmas um, of, of going to Toy Story Land for the first time. We have booked the early morning magic again, yeah. haven't we? Um, we had an amazing time. If you haven't seen our vlog, please do go check it out. I'll try and remember to link it below. Yeah. Um, but we had the best time experiencing yeah. Toy Story Land without the hustle and bustle and the crowds and everything. Um, particularly considering we didn't get the best fast passes no. for it last time. Um, we just thought it was definitely money well spent. Yeah. So the minute we could book for it again, we booked for it. Um, we had a little tip actually. Somebody, um, we were waiting for our, our dates to come up and I think it's generally three months in advance that the dates come become live. Um, and it's only two days out of the week as well. Mm -hmm. And last time we really wanted to do it and we missed out on the first sort of round of tickets released. Um, and we were, we thought we weren't gonna be able to do it and then they released more and we grabbed them. So we didn't want the same thing to happen again this time. So we were definitely keeping our eye out for when that window opened, definitely gonna book it. And somebody said, you know, if you clear your browser history or try in private browsing, they might open up a little bit sooner. And that is exactly what we did. And they opened right up. So we booked, I think four months out. Um, yeah, so we got them as soon as possible. Yeah. <laughs> um, we are actually going to be doing the early morning magic 
on the morning of when we are doing another cool thing that we've never done before, which is our four parks challenge. Yeah. Um, if you're not aware of what the four park challenge is, basically you go to all four of the Disney theme parks in one day. So you go to Epcot, Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom and Hollywood Studios all in one day. Now, if you've got to know us a little bit over the last few months and you've watched our vlogs, you will know that we like to have a nap in the afternoon. Yeah, we yeah. Do. We like a nap. We like going back to the hotel and chilling out. So the thought of being on the go the entire day made us a bit tired already. But we definitely want to do it. Yeah. Like, we, we just, we think it would be amazing. We've been so many times to Disney World before and we've never done it. And we've seen other people's experiences and they've had a blast doing it. And yeah, we definitely want to get involved this time, yeah. don't we? So, we thought, what better way to start off the, with the incredibly long time that you would need to get around all four parks than to start off super early at Hollywood Studios. Yeah. So we've got our early morning magic booked in. Um, then we are going to go to Epcot, I think. Yeah. Um, because obviously it's easy to get to Epcot from Hollywood Studios. And then we have got fast passes for Animal Kingdom. And then we're going to finish the day off in Magic Kingdom, which hopefully still has, well, last time we checked it had, the late night extra magic hours. Yeah. So we've maximised the time <laughs> as much as we can. If we can fit in and up with that as well, we're definitely <laughs> going to try and do it. But we're just really excited. So if any of you have done it before, or if you have any tips whatsoever to help us get yeah. through the day, or anything you'd like us to do while we're doing the four part challenge, I know there's slightly different rules depending on whose version of this you do. Um, but generally we figure we're going to sort of get like a landmark photo, we're going to try and do a meet and greet, we're going to try and do a ride, and we're going to try and eat some snacks. Yes. That's pretty much what we're going <laughs> for. So if you've got any other ideas, please do um, leave a comment below and um, and help us out, um, because it's going to be interesting. Yeah. But it's going to be fun. <laughs> it's all going to be good. So yeah, we're just really excited to try a few new things, aren't we? Yeah. Um, one thing that um, if you um, have known us for a little while, you'll know that we love be our guest restaurant at the Magic Kingdom. And we've um, we've had three meals there and it's always been dinner that we pay out of pocket for. Um, and because we've got the quick service dining, we thought that we might try the breakfast and the lunch as well. Yeah. Um, I, people are always asking us how we find it. It's one of those um, where obviously the dinner is quite expensive. Um, and so I think people kind of want to do it but they have need to weigh up like how much is this costing and even people on the um on the dining plan where it's included it's two credits yeah so um so yeah so i think i think we can give better advice if we've done the breakfast and the lunch as well so um and we want, really want to experience that too so we're gonna have um a breakfast and a lunch at be our guests yes. this time um and then we've done all three meals and we kind of know what it's all about yeah so and that's going to be new everyone just keeps saying it's a really good use of the credit and any opportunity that we can have to go in beast castle um yeah. <laughs> we're gonna take it so we will let you guys know how we get on with those quick service be yeah. our guests um and yeah we've just got some really exciting fast passes booked we booked sort of the minute we could at our our window as soon as yeah. our window opened um so obviously staying on site that was a 60 day window um and literally it took us an hour to get all of our fast passes books yeah. like we literally just like as soon as the window opened <laughs> both of us were sort of trying to get our fast passes that we wanted and um yeah we got we got some amazing fast passes yeah so it's super excited for those um yeah and everything else we just kind of you know go from experience and and do a few things a lot of things that we usually do and some things that we've not done before and um yeah we're just we're excited yeah we're, we're gonna be hot yeah because usually we go at easter um when it's a little bit cooler obviously you can ha have hot days but generally the mornings and the evenings are a little bit cooler um we we went sort of I think it was our first ever trip when we, we left it a bit later and it was super hot. So um, so yeah, we're kind of half expecting that. We're expecting a little bit of inclement weather yep. as well <laughs> um, and a few few rain showers and things like that. Um, but yeah, we're kind of, I feel like we're, we're pretty prepared. Yeah. And um, we are just 
really excited to go now. <laughs> so if you want to see our experience, make sure you have subscribed to our channel and that you've hit that notification bell because the minute we get home, we're gonna start posting all those vlogs for you. Yeah. Um, and also on social media as well. Yeah, um, we are going to be um, using Instagram while we are there. So if you want kind of um, uh, live updates and everything as it happens, uh, make sure you're following us on Instagram because we are gonna be popping those stories on there. Um, and also um, some other pictures and different things that we go up to. So um, yeah, if you want to follow along with us in real time uh, on the Instagram stories, then please make sure you are um, following us over there and uh, yeah, you get to see it straight away. Thanks for watching. Have a magical day.